Oh boy, oh boy, oh my goodness, I have much excitement, I'm ready to play this game. Sorry, I, I am really excited. I don't, I don't know if that seemed forced, but it's not, I'm actually kind of having to hold back. Um, and I'm excited to play more of this game, I should say. But anyways, uh, I am Michael A.L. Fox, uh, you also know me as Foxman, this is Foxman Plays Cities Skylines. For those that do not know what this game is, which I find a little ludicrous since everybody's playing it. Everybody and their mother's playing it. Um, it's developed by Paradox. It is a city building and management uh, simulator. Very similar to, to SimCity. Uh, a lot of people are kind of happy to see it as well. It's kind of like a new kid on the block, sort of. It's nice to have, uh, you know, another simulator to kind of compete. There are city simulators out there for sure no doubt but this one has been getting a, a fair amount of praise as of late a lot of people really liking it uh, some similarities to sim city but some some new features and, and things that are quite nice so we're gonna be playing it a lot of people have been asking me to play it or asking when I'm gonna play it it's partially because this is the sort of game that I just I really enjoy playing I can play it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours uh, as well, some will say maybe I'm, I tend to be halfway decent at these games. I don't want to say I'm amazing by any stretch of imagination, but I, I tend to do well. Part of that is because I like to stop, think, be a little more logical and analytical and just, you know, go through the whole, the whole process. You know, what am I doing? What's going wrong? How do I fix it? Or what might be causing, you know, things of that nature. Just got to stop, pump the brakes and, and look at it. The other reason why people... And I'm sorry for this long intro, might be, uh, you know, wanting me to play this is because they know that I went to the University of Waterloo for uh, urban planning, and I specialize in urban design, so I'll, I'll get a touch base more on that later, but basically, this is like the video game form of kind of what uh, city planning is, is all about, and uh, so that might make me able to, to do a little bit bit better in this game if, if 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 it is coded to have the same sort of logic and behavioral patterns as real humans which I know is a tall order so I'm gonna be a little forgiving of the game because the social sciences are not an exact science uh, I think most people would tell you that and uh, anyways I'm gonna stop rambling about this stuff Let's get into the game. I've got about 10 hours into it. I've streamed a little bit. I've fooled around. I think we're ready. I'm 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 confident that we can start uh, an LP and I can be a little bit informative at this time and still learn more. So kind of a bit of both worlds, right? We're going to learn together, but at least you're not going to come in here and watch me figure things out. I already kind of know how to do most things. So anyways, I'm going to start a new game here. And uh, I will explain some of the stuff. I know it might not be new to you, but there may be people in here that it is new to, so I don't want to kind of jump ahead too far without explaining some things. Uh, the game, we've got maps we can choose from. Each map has natural resources you can see here. These natural resources being oil, uh, ore. We have farming and forestry. So what that really means is forestry, there's on this map, you know, this much almost you know 50% of the maximum amount there could be of trees so then you can basically uh, open up forestry industry and then start cutting these trees down agriculture or farming it basically means agriculture so uh, there's fertile land nice rich topsoil uh, that uh, you can plant some good crops on there whereas other land is not as appropriate for crops so you're not going to get a good yield or something if you were trying to to do that so that's cool too. Uh, ore resources just means a lot of ore that we can mine and similarly for the oil and then we can take that, turn that into petroleum products and all this good stuff. Because there are specializations for these different industries so that is something to keep in mind. Then on the right side here we've got the water. This green plains has I guess water on the lesser side but what that does mean is there's more area for building and there's more land. The more water there is, the less the building area you have. And then we've got these outside connections. They're basically highway, uh, we have our, our train connections, we have our ship connections, and then we have our plane connections. So as we scroll through each one of these, you'll see some have more water, less water, more resources, so on and so forth. 
I kind of want to try this guy at the bottom because I was looking at him earlier and 56% buildable, but a lot of water, and I do see a bit of beach up there. So people like to live on the beach or have a nice little boardwalk. I don't know. I'm just thinking theoretically. Not a lot of buildable land, but maybe it's nice land and it's next to some nice water and stuff. As well, seems to be fairly decent for natural resources. So that's that. City name by default, they actually, it is randomly generated each time, uh, but it's, you know, generic and whatever. I'm going to name, I, I do like naming myself after trees. Maybe I won't name all of my cities after trees, but I love ginkgo. Ginkgo biloba is my favorite tree, the fossil tree. They've been around for like 400 million years, and they say they almost went extinct. Let's just hit start here. Also, a cool thing. If you live in one of those funky countries that drives on the opposite side of the road, you can actually have the game do the same thing. Cool. But yeah, apparently a thousand years ago, the ginkgo was almost extinct. It's also the ginkgo biloba's last in its genus. There's no other species of ginkgo. Um, it, uh, these Chinese monks apparently took care of them and just straight up like all right we're not letting this beautiful tree die the leaves are really cool they've got these really tiny like fine sort of uh what do you call them a grain in the in the leaf not really grain but the lines and they almost look like a duck's foot they're really cool though they're very common in uh, streetscaping these days actually because they're they're very disease and and wind hearty resistant anyways enough of that business this ginkgo we do it's kind of fitting we do have a, a fair amount of trees here uh yeah so Forestry is definitely an option at some point. Our, our the town we area we start in is small and is smallish, and there aren't that many trees. But as you uh, grow your city and your population increases, you're actually able to purchase uh, the surrounding land and stuff. So looks like there's a lot of trees around us, a lot of water. Uh, looking at this as well, we've got uh, well, it looks like the yeah the water's flowing that way there, and the water's flowing down this way here. We got a nice little uh, reservoir of, of sorts or, or uh, a former quarry or it just could be a tiny uh, you can't really call it that's a pretty small for a lake but and then you got the shoreline up here that's what I'm, I'm really excited about and in these areas here there's kind of grayish brownish uh, that should be like ore or uh, or uh, oil or something of that nature should be Kind of around these, so we'll probably at one point want to expand in one of these directions. I, I don't know. Oh, and we've got mountains over there, too. That's cool. Anyways, we have one connection to the highway here. That's all we're starting with. Okay, later there's a railroad over here, it seems. I would like to get connected to that and probably have another connection uh, somewhere here to the highway. We don't want, we got a traffic congestion's crazy. And there's also this here, Chirper. It's kind of like a Twitter. He's a Chirper. Uh, and he's chirping at me. Hello, this is Chirper. Keep an eye out for what your citizens are talking about and what is happening around the world. Hashtag, you found me. She, you found me. You're not stuck in here. No, I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. I should have paused this. Wow. All right. It's fine. They're all unhappy, but there's nobody here to be unhappy. That's crazy. A tree falls in the woods. Nobody's there. Does it make a sound? All right. The first thing you guys need to know about this game is these interchanges are, I don't know if we're all just crazy, but they seem to be rather problematic for a lot of people. And I'll admit myself when I first started, a bit problematic. I've had time to kind of fool around with a couple different things, and we are fairly limited with roads that we can we can use. Um, at the start you can see there's a black silhouette around these things and if you hover over them They'll tell you what they are when you uh, are able to use them. So uh, We have to wait for this one in uh, in particular our population has to be 4800 before we unlock it So uh, all these different guys it's gonna take different amounts of, of time so this guy we actually sort of have we just need to uh, Actually upgrade an existing road, which is gonna be one of these we started the two-lane road Standard two-lane road. So I'm just going to place this. Just so... Uh, <clears throat> sorry, my, my throat's going on me. So we go there. So now that we've got that, you can see we can actually... Uh, we have two-way... Or one-way two-lane road. We've got a dirt road. Um, 
We can also put in this four lane road and we've got this six lane, six lane one way. None of those are unlocked. And then we also have a small roundabout. So that's part of the key to my dastardly plan here. You're gonna see that shortly. So, what I'm gonna do, let me think about this. Uh, we gotta kinda make somewhat of a grid. Yeah. But what I wanna use is actually the dirt road. Get rid of you. There we go. I should also explain, I'll explain this stuff slowly as we go. We're gonna just kinda go with the flow of it as I know it. But there are roads, you can do a straight road, a curved road, free form, and then we can also upgrade existing roads. So um, there's that stuff. Uh, other features in the game, again, once we lay down road, we can kind of zone different areas along them, residential, commercial, industrial, and then we get to higher densities. And eventually we'll have a office zone as well. And uh, we're gonna be putting in uh, electricity. We're gonna be putting in water. I'm gonna get to this stuff shortly, but I just kind of like to get this this first initial connection done, get it over with, and then we're good to go. Good to go. Um, so what I'm thinking here, okay, let's. Hmm. Let's build this out. What we're dealing with is two three lane highways, and uh, each are going one way. Kind of makes it tricky. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying people have uh, some kind of issues dealing with this. But we're going to go... We'll do two blocks. And you can sit, see as we build these roads, this grid on either side forms. So that's basically areas we can zone. So we could put residential or commercial or industrial. You don't, I would advise, for the most part, doing stuff right up against these kind of main roads here. They're just going to be too busy. You don't want people stopping and parking along here. That's just not cool. So, um, we're going to end up having to, you know, the best thing to do here is to upgrade. Because we've just attached a two-lane road uh, with two directions to a three-lane one-way. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, hey. What are you talking about? I can't upgrade this type. Or like, what are you talking about? Clearly, I did something wrong. I don't know why it doesn't want me to upgrade. With parking spaces, is that it? Maybe. I don't want to do a four lane. Four lane is a bit excessive. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. Unless what we did. Huh. I'm going to leave it for now. We can always change it later. We can always change it later. Okay. So another thing I want to do, and I'm just going to use these dirt roads to kind of uh, get off the upgrade. Almost just essentially as a guide first 90 you can see it's snapping if I get rid of yeah I know the game is paused this here toggle snapping if I turn it off and I start moving it doesn't snap at all it doesn't snap in the 90 degree degrees but if I do this it snaps at 90 degrees of whatever road we're currently connected to I know I want to reach a milestone we're gonna get to that I am the ultimate tutorial the game ain't got nothing on me. So anyways, I'm going to start this uh, nice little kind of 90 degrees this way. These are not permanent roads here. I'm just kind of getting stuff sorted out. And then we're going to do just it's harder to do. See, you, you see here we can't really connect. We'd have to put two or something. That'd be just be weird, right? So what I'm gonna do, and you're gonna you're gonna like this, I hope, is I'm gonna rotate this, right click it, and it rotates at 45 degrees as you can see. And then we're gonna bring it. Actually, you know what? I just I want some more a little few more guides. Let's uh 
Let's go here. Gotta go over one more. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now I can get this. I just want it to be as close to center as I possibly get it. And let's say we go. Right there. I mean, that's about as close as we can get it. And you'll see what I'm going to do. Although that might be... Actually, I think we need to put it back a bit. And you'll see economy panel. That one's unlocked. I see you blinking there, shaking that ass. Okay. Is that close? That might still be too close. Okay, let's go with this one. Let's go at the end. I, I, I will settle for this. Compromise. About as close as I can get. So now I may demolish, so that is a, an option. Bulldoze. Can bulldoze this. I'm gonna keep those two guys just as references. And now we get. Uh, is it gonna let me. Okay, let's see here. We wanna curve this. Let's go like. No, here we go. There you go. That's what I want. Something like that. It's not hugely elegant, but it'll get the job done. And don't worry, I've got a long term idea for this. So now, is this gonna be. Okay. sugar okay so I guess it sort of is working it should work we'll make do with that I might have to fix this later sometimes the the road directions get a little funky so we're okay with that I'm okay with that I hope you're okay with that cuz I'm okay with that and then what we're gonna do is kind of box around this a little bit okay I think we need to do let's bring this guy up here got 90 degrees something like that just to start what oh, oh no no I don't want I don't want curve that's why I was wondering what was going on there So, uh oh, that's not perfect. That bothers me a whole heck of a lot. But you know what? I can't do too much about it. See that this some terrain it, it gets funky with the grid. You can't always build exactly the way you want. Hmm, that's gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me a lot. Um, hit me, hit me, I want you to hit me. Hmm. Is there any way we can fix this? Let's just, let's just try. Bulldoze this sucker. And get back at her. If I were to do... I don't think that's gonna work. That's close enough. That's close enough to be honest. We'll keep those road connections there for now. And then what we need to do is bring in another curved road. Oopsies, thought I clicked you. And then we're gonna bring it in here. Um, although, give me one second to figure this out. Where's the grid? Like that, like that. We want it there. And then when we want this guy, there. Perfect. Now I know what I'm doing. Nope. I don't quite know what I'm doing. Almost. Connect you. Connect you. 
The, I, one of the things I wish this game had was kind of like a blueprint mode. Very similar to Prison Architect, if you've ever played that game. You can kind of lay down blueprints, and you don't actually have to spend the money, right? Because you really do need long-term... This is a city planning game, right? You just don't build everything at, all willy-nilly at once. Um, so having a blueprint kind of layer, if they do that, that's really going to be uh, useful for this game. And I'll, I'll, give them, I'll give them my praise for that. Until they do that... Huh. Um, want to curve this? That's what I want. Nice. Kind of looks like a spider hanging with its little web and then its little arms, something like that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then we can now upgrade. This road, this road, this road. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? This might be kind of a main arterial sort of road. We should actually do four lane. Or not arterial road, sorry. Arterial road goes around the city. This is going to be like a main. Could have some shopping here or something or just nice parks. Uh, I don't know, but I, we definitely need to, to handle a little more traffic. So I'm just going to go and do this right off the get-go um, because you can see now it's widened it's taken up a couple extra spaces so need to accommodate for that another thing I'm gonna do is hmm, this I kind of want to connect these two sides as well I'll do that later I'll do that. I know this looks like trash right now and you're probably like Michael what are you doing you're not even like playing the game oh trust me this is this is the planning. It takes time. So now we gotta we do generally have to think about our zoning and stuff. Now, a big thing a lot of people are gonna you're gonna, you're gonna see say like the top left corner. I just want that all my houses and, and residential are gonna go there. Top right corner, maybe we'll put all the commercial. And then, you know, bottom right corner is all industrial, and that's pretty much it, right? That is the wrong way to plan a city. It fragmented and segregated it's just gonna end up in a whole shitstorm of no good traffic cars are evil in the world of city planning all right we're all about public transit walking and cycling and healthy things so to achieve that you really 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 want to focus on as much mixed use as you can uh, and that is another thing that I would very much suggest to this game to any city builder is actually allow to have mixed use zoning if we go to our zoning here you can see we have residential we have uh, commercial we have industrial and uh, that's the D zone and then we have office but a lot of places you go uh, office buildings commercial buildings things of that nature or, re or sorry uh, like residential apartment buildings a lot of times the first first floor or two sometimes more depending on the development will actually be shops on the bottom and then all up top is is residential that's mixed use um in this game we can't quite do that which is unfortunate and uh, a bit of an inaccuracy which is like okay this block is residential only um so we're gonna have a lot of areas where it'll be you know uh, commercial and residential basically right next to each other it's the best that we can do or i can do so again if anybody in the developing world is listening mixed use uh give an extra icon here where it could be like green slash blue or uh you know uh, uh blue slash whatever this color of office is gonna be or you know or green slash the office color it's that would be cool that would be good mixed use is awesome and then people can like live and work in the same building that's kind of sucky anyways and rant that's a uh, something I would love to see though so we've got that I mean we'll, we'll see how this this works uh, we're gonna need some commercial and stuff I think because this is awkward here I'm not gonna build along you see all these kind of awkward things I'm not gonna build residential or commercial along there again this is people kind of going to and from the highway so what I'll probably do is all along this perimeter and in this awkward area I'll probably just end up putting trees uh, a lot of trees 
Just, it'll look nice and and all that stuff. It'll be good. And then, then along here we can have residential or commercial or, or something of that nature. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll do residential. Also, something to note, you can see this is green, but this is the the fill tool. So when we have a solid area blocks, this is going to basically fill the whole thing. I very much prefer the marquee tool, whereas you can kind of click and drag, like so. You can just click one if you want. And then we've got this um, uh, small brush, kind of a little more flowy. And then if we right click, then it, it will dezone it automatically, which is kind of neat. And then of course you have just a larger brush, which is the same thing as a smaller brush. But for the most most excuse me, most part I just use this marquee tool. So what I'm gonna do is straight up get some residential going. Although on this corner I will put we're gonna put some uh, commercial. Not so much on this corner, but hey, we'll let them we'll let them do their thing. Uh, and I might actually, maybe even this corner. We can always dezone later. It's fine. It's fine. And I'll probably do some commercial, maybe along the side. I should probably upgrade these roads so people aren't bitching and moaning too much. I did those for for guidelines, but I actually, I'm gonna be okay with that. Again, this is we're gonna prettify this. It looks ugly now. I agree with you. It bothers me but one step at a time, okay? Okay, good, okay, 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 bye. Um, I don't wanna have too many intersections here because there's gonna be a lot of people coming off. It's just gonna be total friggin' chaos. So I'm probably actually gonna remove um, the, oh shit, actually, they, we gotta keep these these two intersections here. So. You know what? Maybe I will we'll upgrade this. And then I'll probably get rid of these ones. Yeah. I think we'll do that. Let's just get rid of these ones right the F now. Just kind of reduce it a bit. And then we can put some... I don't know what we'll put here. Uh, I'm trying to think maybe like police or school or something kind of more service oriented along here it could be commercial it could be some nice commercial but we'll see L I gotta think about it a little more gotta, gotta think about it um so maybe I'm gonna hit play in a second trust me I'm actually gonna play the game but first things first we need to think about electricity and water and sewage those are definitely utilities we want to get going now i also i actually work in the power industry i'm not a city i don't work as a city planner so i know a fair bit about all this stuff too and you're probably going to hear me talking about it all the time uh coal plant like I, I find it funny you look in the bottom right you see the the power output you're not going to see a coal plant putting out 40 megawatts you're going to see a coal plant putting out 4,000 megawatts it's crazy whereas this wind turbine, you're not gonna, okay, theoretically, you, you could see a, a wind turbine putting out eight megawatts. There's this Norwegian company called Sway. I've been kind of following them for several years. They had this prototype for a 10 megawatt offshore wind turbine, because the winds are usually much better offshores. But uh, they're testing, I think I saw a video on YouTube a while back where they're like recovering uh, the turbine from its failed test from the bottom of the water. And it's like, it is actually kind of buoyed in the water and pitched forward 15 degrees and then it's like tethered to the, to the bottom of the water. Pretty crazy stuff. I don't know. I haven't followed up on it recently. I don't know if it's, but that's, you know, to get 10 megawatts out of a wind turbine, they got to be really big and you got to do some kind of crazy stuff. Typically, at least in my company, we'll do two and a half, three megawatt uh, wind turbines are, are what we use on our, our projects. Of course, there are varying uh, four and six megawatt ones we've looked at, and you look at all these different things, but it's like you could have more turbines at a smaller output or maybe fewer at a higher output. It's kind of 
You gotta you gotta weigh your options. Anyways, this is not quite realistic, especially for six thousand fox bucks or, or whatever the heck we're calling these. But I digress. Anyways, so we gotta put these somewhere, and then when we click on one, we see a, uh, this little wind map pops up, and essentially the darker the area, in this case is go away, is better. So when oh that's out of city limits. So when I hover over this area. You can see 7 megawatts. Uh, at most, we can get 8 megawatts. I don't know where there's an 8 megawatt area. Okay, that's an 8 megawatt area. But this is kind of central. I plan to have a lot of my actual city here, so I don't want my turbines because when we hover it, look at noise pollution 75. People don't like noise pollution. Also, it's a lot of BS. A lot of these models of turbines are dead quiet. You wouldn't know. But uh, this area here is not so bad. You know, we can still get in 7 megawatts. And I think over here was kind of the, uh, looked like oil or ore or something. So I kind of want to, I think I might want to get a lot of industry over here. Similarly, actually, hmm, this is good. Because I was also thinking about this. The water here is flowing down this way. And this is not like, this isn't like beachfront property, right? So I don't care about polluting this water so much. So maybe we put a good amount of our industry over here. At least power generation and stuff. And then we could have our other industry, like actual zoning over here. Um, and get the ore later. So maybe we'll just centralize it all over here-ish. The one thing to remember, since the water flows, you want the water drain pipe to be downstream of the water pumping station you don't want to be pumping up dirty water right so keep that in mind so we're basically i'm just gonna put this in right now right here and then we'll get one of these guys and we'll give them a bit of space and put them right there now if i come back to this i still got plenty of room actually we can get this guy pretty close yeah let's get these guys somewhat close eight megawatts get them as close to the border right there as we can that should be good. Put you. And now the power's right there. See, the thing with these two is, um, you see, you see this bluish blob here? Once people start building houses, they'll have a bluish blob. And we need to connect the two bluish blobs together with these power lines so that they're getting power. Um, but generally, this bluish blob, that just means there's an automatic kind of underground electrical grid of, of, you know power cables you'll see it later it'll it'll make sense but we're gonna have to have a line of this stuff for sure but now that that is there the last thing we really need to do is also set up the piping um now you're gonna say like michael you're you connecting these two things here but if you zoom in you'll see two pipes one is an inflow one is an outflow intake out take whatever so it's it's fine it's it's realistic ish um actually let's first start at this corner i like to follow the roads yeah there this is better the grid of the road just keep things nice and tidy you know and then now we're we'll connected from here I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but this doesn't snap right here, which kind of annoys me, to be honest. That looks fairly close. There we go. I can get rid of this little nub there. That's cool. So now you can see the area around it. Now all these... Uh, buildings will get serviced by water. We don't have to be super exhaustive. It's just kind of in a general area. Boom. And heck yeah, we'll come down here. We're not since we're not building stuff here, I don't really need to worry about it. It's all good. So let's go back. Let's just let people start moving in. Let's actually play the game. I've been playing it, but I haven't really been playing it. We're but we're getting prepared. The biggest thing you can do for success. Preparation. Preparation H. A local power plant is online. Maybe I'll get my TV working again. Reality shows 24-7. Yikes. 
You watch. You should watch uh, Dan Giesling on Big Brother. I got to hug that guy in real life in Boston. It was amazing. It was amazing. He won Big Brother and came second place a second time. Like, it's good at Big Brother. Gotta admit, I don't. I haven't watched Big Brother, but I'm gonna go and watch him in Big Brother just that season or both those seasons. Anyways, you can see people. Slowly popping up. We could fast forward time, but I like to go nice and slow at the start. Um, and oh shit, pause. We gotta pause it. I forgot to actually connect. So now you're gonna see. Now there's a blue blob. We gotta connect the blobs. Uh, we will just go. I'm gonna go for now along here. We can we can always move, delete or get rid of and and remake these power connections. For now, I think what I'll do is go here and here. Yeah. There we go. So now they should be happy. You've got power. You can live. You're the first resident. So I'm going to call you because we can name people and things. Uh, this is the, the f Daffodil residence, but you're going to be the first lady. There you go. They're unhappy because they didn't have power. Now you got power, so shut up. Be happy. Be, be happy. Um, yes, I. this is very unsightly. I do not like that, but again, we will be able to get rid of it soon. It's kind of nice here. Oh, look at that slit. Oh, my God. Look at all that poop. So that's why you want it down water. I'm afraid it might even be too close. Here, we've got all these different maps. Uh, the one thing, another thing, I don't really um appreciate about this game is you don't know ultimate i mean you sort of know where the resources are but not exactly um i can just eye it up but you know it's not great in the real world you can do these things called you know environmental assessments geotechnical studies so on and so forth to tell you like what is the makeup of the land what is there is it a marsh or there resources this and that i kind of wish that one of these buttons here is the reason that it was unlocked from the start i don't quite like that but what are you gonna do uh, maybe if they had an option to pay for one of those kind of geotechnical studies I'd be down with that I mean nothing in life is free but right now we do know this is our wind map we now have a traffic map uh, when it goes red it's bad basically green is good but we don't really have anybody here so we don't have to well, we do a couple but traffic is almost non-existent um, and then we've got our little happiness meter. These guys are unhappy for whatever reason. I do not know. Now they're happy. Maybe just because they're, you know, moving is a stressful process, you know. Um, plus, they don't really have any parks or commercial and stuff. You can see. Let's get away from this. Down below, their demand for commercial and industrial, that is growing. So we got to start figuring out where to put some of this stuff. Uh, what, I, again, I think I might do is just kind of some little micro streets of commercial down here for now. Again, we can always change it later, but, um, that's what I want right now. So let's go like so. There you go. And we'll do the same on this side. Nice. Uh, let's go to roads. Uh, I do have 32,000 left. That's not a ton. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this now. And then we'll just... I guess punch one in. There. Just so we know where we're going. Uh, why didn't some of the zone? I'm not exactly sure. But now it's zoned. Get in the zone. Auto zone. And you know what? I think I'm going to do this. And that. And these areas here are a little bit awkward. Even this is, is kind of awkward. Uh, I To the point that I might get rid of it at some point if there aren't good shops. I'm going to turn a lot of this into um, just trees and such. You know? Just trees and such. Just tree things. Oh, shit. Uh, I gotta... I always forget to keep an eye on this. 
Uh, water. And, oh, no, I got the water. Electricity. See, this blob's got to get connected. Eventually, these blobs will merge, and I won't need so many connections. But for now, we're going to have to do this. Let's do it like that. Yeah. Okay, unpause it. And give her. Give her 110. Sip of water for me, please. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, we do need to keep an eye on our electricity meter right now. You can see we are producing 8 megawatts, and our consumption is 2 megawatts. Of course, the more buildings and people and industry and commercial and all that stuff there are, the bigger the draw of power. So we need to keep an eye on that. Uh, and same thing for water and sewage and garbage collection and all these different things. Um, ours are... So now our demand for commercial is down. Like, I, I went a little overzealous with the zoning here, but I was just like, you know what? I'm, again, I'm thinking kind of long term, and as more people move in, the demand for commercials is going to go up again, so they can build as they please for the next little while, and I don't quite have to worry about commercial. Um, what I am thinking long term is I would love to have a nice, you know, beachfront property, beachfront kind of boardwalk commercial area, way down here or along this river I don't know but yeah that would be cool um, so I'm gonna have a big sort of industrial park here for now we're gonna be producing wind and and such along this river it's gonna be industry river this game yeah oh yes they do oh industry uh, I'm being silly let's plan the industry right now yes 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 um, the thing about the industry I'm thinking long term I don't want like all the trucks and stuff that are carrying goods to and from to and fro going through this kind of city center and then coming I guess over to the left here it seems like I'm I'm quite set on doing that so eventually I would like to have another connection here directly to industry um problem is I don't own this land yet or this land here so I'm gonna have to buy both of these blocks which I can't do yet, but eventually you'll you'll see when we upgrade our or get enough population, our city will upgrade, and we'll be able to buy surrounding land. So that's kind of my game plan. But for now, we can kind of put industry right in this corner, um, kind of away from everybody, so there's no noise pollution or things of that nature to bother them, and hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I just need to think. Which road to use? You know what? For now, we'll just use this road here. Ah, shit! Sorry, buddy. I should I should have zoned that better. We'll go like so. We gotta fix our power, of course. Um, actually, you know what? The better way to do this, I think, is to go like so. And we'll get rid of this guy. We'll continue this line down there for the industry, though, because they will need some connections. Um, road. Let's go like so. We'll do a block like this. Fill it with the industries of America. 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 And we will need a dump at some point. Maybe I'll put it on this corner because I kind of want it close-ish to the rest of the city. Do I put one up here? You know what? Let's do this. Actually, I have to undo these because I'm going to be probably building a road through there at some point. And I don't want to disrupt them later on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make them unhappy. All right, now let's hit play. Industry. Yeah, boys. You're going you're gonna to get going. You're going to get going. Now, do I put... 
more commercial along the street or residential? I'm thinking residential. Let's just do it to it. Yes. And commercial can go there. And then we'll put the rest residential. Residential. Oh, yeah. You guys are going gung-ho. Nice. Mikey likey. Okay, what's the population? 146. We got to get that up, obviously. Now, with more industry, the demand for... For all of this residential is going to go up again and again and again. Okay. I need to build some more roads. So let's just do that. Let me see here. You know what? Let's have these guys going for a ways down here. And we should just upgrade these guys now. Let's not be silly about it. Ooh, I'm liking... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm liking this. But do I upgrade these to, like... Four lanes? Keep them two lanes. Oh, that's a tough decision. I... This is going to cost me money, man. This is going to cost me so much money. Can I upgrade? What's it going to look like if I do this? This might cause total mayhem having two of these here. Like this. But I'm doing it anyways. I'm not going to upgrade these guys. Hopefully that's okay. We'll see. But I... Ow. These could be kind of some... Also, I'm going to at some point make these kind of major transit corridors. Yeah. Now let's do... Oh shit, we gotta fix this. We gotta demolish this. Because it wasn't making optimal use. There you go. That's how we want it. I like that. Just keep it simple for now. This could be shitty in the long run. I mean, we will have to figure it out. Industry, there you go, it's gone, oh, bup, 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 bup. I neglected you guys so hard. Just go like this, that should be sufficient. My bad. And is the power actually, oh, we didn't actually connect the, the power, because I'm a dummy. Alright. For now, that'll suffice. Again, we'll be removing a lot of those power lines later. Once these things kind of get together. Get to Keva. Okay, we're at half 4 megawatts out of 8 megawatts. Keep an eye on that. $7,000. I should start... I don't know why I don't uh, zone this stuff now. Zone you all residential. And eventually, I'll do some more commercial over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, back to the streets. And this guy... There. I want to make maximum use of these blocks, as you can see. Like... Ugh. I hate this terrain right here. This little crack. Snap, crackle, pop. 
don't know if there's some way I can fix this. It's really bothering me. It's all because of this right here. Hmm. Like, that really bothers me. A lot. But I don't know how to fix it. Shit. Shit. Look at my shit. I wonder if it'll kind of... See, it doesn't fix itself at all. I'm gonna remove this. I just don't know how to fix it, man. Other than bringing this like a block closer. What happens if I do this? I mean, that's okay. Eh, it's still garbage. There's a little bit of space. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna live with it. Character, this is our first city. Uh, I do ask that you guys have some patience because it's probably gonna suck for a while. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get there. And if we don't, then we are able to start another city. You know? Ginkgo. Ginkgo. It's supposed to come close to extinction, and then we'll save it later. We'll become Chinese monks. Save it. For America. Uh... Shit. What the? Oh, yes, yes. You've got every intersection. You first gotta connect it there. Oh, we do not have any money left. Oh, my goodness. We should be, I think, at the population of 400 and something. If we click on this little icon here, milestones. Yeah, 460. Uh, we become a little hamlet. We get a nice chunk of cash, and we unlock things. So that keeps happening for quite a while. So we want to increase our population. And to do that, oh my goodness, I keep forgetting power lines. Okay, so now these are connected together, so I don't actually need to put power lines. Well, this guy, he needs power. But why is that again? Am I just not producing enough? Oh, that's why, because, yes, I'm not producing enough. I need $6,000, though. To buy another turbine. So you're just going to have to suck it up for a little bit, buddy. Uh, let's fast forward. 393, 94. And I can't take it alone. If I click on the economics or the economy tab here, I guess I should show you this. Um, let's slow down a tiny bit. We have budgets currently for different uh, utilities and services that we currently have available to us. So electricity and water. We can always increase our budget, make them more effective, more efficient. Uh, a blackout again. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, eventually, we'll be able to take out a loan as well uh, with the interest, of course. And we have the taxes here. So we can adjust the taxes on residential, commercial, and industrial spaces. Something to keep an eye on, but of course, not yet. Oh, six people away. Three people away. Nice. All right, we are now a little hamlet. We have taxes and loans, and we get uh, like $20,000 or something in that spectrum. Garbage, healthcare, education. So now we can put in an elementary school, medical clinic, and landfill site. So the thing with education is if we upgrade it more, we can then put in a high school and then eventually we'll even be able to have a university. And it's very important to get education going on because it takes a while to educate the people. And having educated workers is going to be really good for commercial and industrial uh, areas because they'll start saying like, hey, I want uh, I need more educated people to come and work here. And people being educated in general means they're more supportive of Oopsies, that's my my headphones. Uh, being more supportive of you know things like recycling programs and good best industrial practices, like clean, good things, right? Not a shitty rundown city. So it's very important to have uh, people educated. 
So I'm going to want to put it in school pretty soon. Uh, but first things first. We want to... Where, oh, yes, it's over here. Put in another one of these guys. We're just going to put them right next to them. Right like so. There you go, buddy. Now no more brownouts. I am... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sucks for those guys. I'm very sorry. But if we come back here, now we're producing 16 megawatts. Okay, there we go. Decent. Um, sugar. One of the things that I would like to do is... How much money do I have? We better just put a school in right now. Elementary school. We can put this guy... You know what? Let's put him on this corner. Actually, that's a great spot. A great spot. Or we could put him there. We'll put him here. We'll put the high school maybe across the street. I don't know. Screw it. We'll put him here. Yeah. There you go. Um, okay, let's, there we go. I don't know why, I don't hear any more game audio. Am I crazy? Am I straight up crazy? Okay, I, I hear game audio. I'm not completely crazy. There you are. Um, what are we doing now? Demand residential's going up a tiny bit. That's fine. Hmm. Do I just play a bit of the waiting game? Alright, people are generally happy. I like that. I just gotta think about this for a minute. We got 8,000. We do need garbage. Maybe I should think about garbage right about now. Uh, we could go... I want it along the street. Actually, shit. You know what I'm actually going to do? Wrong. I'm wrong button. I'm going to upgrade this. Much money? Nine thousand. I'll, I'll eventually upgrade it all across. I'm going to build a bridge. Or not a bridge. A thingy over. Oh, yes. You're complaining about garbage. I know. Uh, I just want to do this now because now I'm going to place the garbage. There. Now I can really hear the music kicking in. And I want it on this street. I want it close to the industry because of the pollution and all that crap, but it's still kind of, I want, I want the vehicle, vehicles en entering and exiting here. If they had to go on this side, then it's just one more intersection to go through for them. So, I'll, and they're all going to the right over there. So, I want just one less intersection for them to go through. I think that's kind of smart. Uh, now, another thing I'm going to do is we're going to be upgrading this. Let's just do this now. I feel bad for you guys. Sorry. Suck it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna build a thingy over this, so there's no inter there's not gonna be an intersection here. So if I just select this, and then if I do, if you hit page up, first I do this, then I hit page up. You can see it goes up. Right now, slope is too steep, but if I bring it out a bit, then it uh, is not so steep anymore. Let's go. Doesn't really matter. Like that. And we'll do the same on this side. Let's just get a look. See, does that look generally even? And then we can go from here. 
there. Boom. I'm liking that a fair bit. There. So now people can get over here. Oh, I cut off the power lines. I got them off. I got that. I got them. Okay, let's just... I hope that's close enough there. Yep. Wait. Yes, there we go. Actually, we can get rid of this. For now. Hey, no, 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 no. I thought I put the bulldozer. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm liking this. That's good. I gotta figure out what I'll put in these areas. Maybe I'll put like ah, something weird, like a cemetery here, and then I can surround it with trees. I'm definitely gonna be surrounding most of this area with trees. Um, same in here. I just don't want to put developments around there. That seems kind of silly. Did I make this? I should make these corners commercial, to be honest. Maybe? That might not be such a bad idea. Let's do that. Sorry, boys. Yeah. There we go. I do the commercial is rising, but so is residential. A lot. They want to... They want to live. I want to live. When's our next, uh, is it 800, 900? 900, and we're going to get be able to unlock, you know, buy uh, land next to us. We'll have districts, which is something I'm going to be getting into way, not way later, but definitely not this episode. Policies are really good. Uh, you'll see those shortly. I'll, I'll go through them when we, when, when we unlock. We can get a second loan, industry specializations, which I was mentioning earlier, services, policies, and then, of course, we've got fire department, police, uh, unique buildings, which are good for things like tourism, and uh, they act as attractions for people, which is always good, and then specializations. Uh, we've got the forestry and agriculture, uh, and these are the policies we will get. Power usage, water usage, smoke detector, and then those are the buildings again. We'll go through them. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make just a decent framework now. An okay framework. Uh, and we don't even have the trees. We can. You'll be able to place single trees, but we don't have that unlocked yet. So we really need more residential. How much money do I have? 4,000. So let's just do that. We'll need more commercial at a point. <laughs> Drive me crazy. On all these corners, I'm just going to put larger, like, unique buildings or something like that to cover up that shittiness. It worked, though. Look at the kids playing in their little playground. So cool. Show cool. Um, okay, let's get it started. I think I'll put... That's a school. We need residential along here. Let's open this area. That's funky. No worries, we'll put a park or something there. And then we're going to do... Residential. And then we're going to get one of these big mama jammas again. And we're going to put him like that. And we'll put some commercial along there. And we're, we're going to extend them more again. I just didn't want to spend too much money. So let's go. Something like that. Something like that. Something like it hot. Residential. I gotta get the pipes and the power. We're gonna probably have to buy more power. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Pipes are mostly good, but if we go like 
that. Then that's good. Uh, we'll do the same here. There you go. 1,500. Uh, we should be upgrading in less than 100 population, which can definitely happen now. Let's look at our power. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to take it a quick loan, a cheap loan. Boy, we should look at those other stuff. So I'll take this out. And you can see here, uh, payment left. Uh, payment plan is over 52 weeks. The interest is 5%. Wait, this is saying I had to drive the next city for a painkiller prescription or piggy bank for a visit to a private clinic. Health oh, yes, I do need health care. Well, we'll do that right away, sir. Yes, sir. Um, because the interest. So total, we're going to pay an extra 1000 But we could pay it back now, but we're not going to do that. Budgets are expanding. And then our taxes here. I'm actually going to go 11%. 12 and 13. Yeah. If you're going to pollute, you're going to pay the taxes, man. Healthcare. Oh, and we just upgraded. Wow. All right. So we already looked at that stuff. So I'm not going to look at it right now. But where's the best place for medical? Our school is right there. So. You know, let's put the medical here. That's fine. Care for everyone, citizens flock to treatment for various ailments. Flu shots. Yellow. <laughs> Better get that flu shot. Um I think our next upgrade is fourteen hundred people. Yes, sir. Then we get decoration, level two unique buildings, pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation. Good show. And high school. High school's gonna be very important to get going on early too. Now we have thirty four thousand because of that upgrade. I guess I should have just waited a tiny bit. Power we need more power. Okay. Something like that should be okay. We do need another. Yeah, we definitely need another one. We're going to need it sooner or later, so let's just get it over with. Uh, they want fire and police soon, I am sure of it. Did we do, we did the water, except for this guy here, my bad, and you over here, there we go, decent, it's looking good, I, don't have to, I want the decorations really soon just so I can kind of show you guys my plan, my plan of attack, uh, demand is, is kind of low, uh, which is okay, I mean people are growing, but they're not like, oh you don't have enough residential. Plenty of residential right now. Good. Oh, policies. We need to get that going. Eh, provide good service and education. Have a high uh, land value. The zone buildings in your city can be improved to higher level buildings. Higher level buildings pay more taxes and house more people. Offer more jobs. Pop pollution is reduced. And higher uh, level industry. So basically, yeah. I, I forgot to mention. Oopsies. If we undo that. Shut up, Heather Harris. Wireless networks now available for free everywhere in the world. Nice. Free internet, net neutrality. <laughs> right on, Paradox. Oh, you can just see that by educating our citizens, we're slowly uh, upgrading this building, too, which is nice. And it, it, they're right next to the school, or is that the medical center? So they like that, too. So this building will eventually upgrade. Um, Has more people, smarter people. It's all good, man. We're going to set your six later, but policies. When we look at power usage, essentially uh, the policy is to uh, install power meter at every building. And that's going to cost more in terms of upkeep, five cents per building, but it's also going to reduce the electricity uh, consumption. So that's good, and it does the same thing for water. And then smoke detectors, smoke detectors for all. We're reducing the fires, which means less strain on our fire department, which we do not have right now, which I should have. Um, and we've got $26,000, so why don't we give her? Let's give her. The best place, you know, I actually want it near-ish to the industry. So what I think I may do, let's put it here on this corner. This is a good it's got fairly decent access to a, a lot of these areas. Um, 
It's right next to this kind of bridge over to the other side. So let's do it, yo. I'm happy about that. Okay. Hmm. Did you watch me come back this season? Yes, it's vintage, safe fashion designers. Wow. Shut up, Chirpy. Chirper. Good demand is okay. How you guys doing down here? You okay? Oh, you're under construction. Of course you're unhappy. You're under construction. This guy's probably normally going to level up at some point soon, hopefully. Not soon, but sooner than some of these other guys. Let's look at our grid. Grid is all right. Got power. Water's doing all right. Those are garbage. Landfill usage 2%. Good stuff. Can we do police yet? Do we have enough money? Heck yeah. Okay, let me just actually get out of this weird, funky looking zone. I don't care to see the criminal. I guess it's just going to automatically show me the criminals. It's fine. Crime rate is only 10%, but why let it get high? I think this is 12,000 12, exactly, and we are losing money. But we're going to we gotta make money. Uh, we're almost at 1,400 anyway, so police, we will put... You know what? I kind of want to put it like this corner. No, here. Let's put it right here. Yeah, right when you come in, sucker. You're like, whoa, the cops are right there. I better behave in this city. Crime rate is 11. I expect it to go down. Let's fast forward the sucker a little bit. I gotta upgrade these roads. I'm gonna do that in a minute. When we get our new upgrade it's coming man feel it let's just go super fast global warming speeding up some groups still in denial climate change it's crazy man climate change is real it's happening don't listen to those lobbyists they're just paying scientists to say that it's not real because if it's re if it's not real then they can keep producing their friggin crazy chemical products and pollutant stuff there we go decoration level two unique buildings pet band smoking band and now we've got high school high school musical can i actually afford it though no although we can take out a second loan i kind of want to do it but i kind of don't want to do it but i really need a high school and we're still losing money but we gotta we gotta get this stuff going so you know what? i'm actually gonna take it out Gonna take it out. Take me out to the ball game. Take where was the other school? It's right there. So did I decide to put it across the street? Wait, what was that building? Ah, that's the medical clinic. That's correct. I was like, why is it red? Lady in red. Um, you know, let's just put it here. Sure, that's an okay area. Everybody's happy. Everybody get up. Boom, boom, boom. Um, okay, residential's going up. Commercial's going up a bit, too. We've got a lot of... Mm, oh, because I just took out that loan. So, first let's upgrade these streets. Upgrade it, y'all. Y'all want a single seat? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. That's old school corn. Um. Hmm. And we'll leave that. That's fine. That's fine. Trees. This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, so these are the parks. We can definitely put in these different parks, which people are going to love, which I definitely want to do. But single trees. This is what I don't get. So, okay, we've got large bush, small bush, palm tree, or palm plant, palm tree, small beach, tree with leaves, oak, <laughs> alder number two, tree with leaves number two. That's it. You. 
this is kind of broken. Like, did they forget about this? I don't know. But tree with leaves is not a species of tree. And then they go oak, and then like alder number two. Where's alder number one, yo? Am I missing something here? And where are the coniferous trees? We got some good deciduous trees. We got palm trees, but where are the coniferous trees at? Anyways. Oh, shit. Crap. Dude. Oh, this road upgrade. Right. Um. Then for now, we will go... I don't want to demolish them. Hmm. It's the best way to handle it. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this for now. Fix it later. There. You should have power now, though. There you go. Now, shut up. Power to the people. How hard is a bit of working power grade? It's, not, it's, it's actually pretty kind of difficult and the rest is just silly politics uh, you can see here this guy he he wants more workers not enough workers one overeducated worker Wow makes me kind of proud um okay we fix that problem I'm gonna have a look at the newly unlocked so we've got statue of shopping Shopping is a wonderful thing. The Statue of Shopping is a constant reminder of the bliss that is to purchase something. Requirement for building the Hadron Collider. What? And the Mall of Moderation. Not interested. Not now. Maybe later. And Monuments. Oh, we gotta read 75,000 people. That'll be cool. Um, power. Oh, we need to put in another one I use. Gonna kind of you know what, let's kind of keep it in line as much as we can. There you go. Green energy is the best. Come on. Oh, people really, 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 really want residential. I'm going to pause it so I can do this that I wanted to do. I'm just going to take, which is the oak? Tree with leaves, oak. I'm just going to go crazy here. Gonna line this guy. And then I'm gonna fill it in, but I'm just, you know, doing the outline first. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna get a sip of my water. There we go. You see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I'm, I apologize for the persistent and obnoxious clicking. I'll fill this in, uh, like, each one of these trees costs, you know, $10. But it adds up when you got a billion trees. I'm going to fill this in more later. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm talking about. Ugh. So much. I guess I'll just fill it in now. Go crazy, trigger finger. Trigger. Great protest, the hero song. This is the only one I'm gonna fill in. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna fill in the other ones, but again, I'll do that. I'll do that later. Maybe, maybe, maybe next episode. And I'll do this little circle. I'll just do this circle too, because that's just, you know, the little circle of doom. Circle of trees. It's a circle of life. I haven't seen The Lion King in a long ass time. I really should watch it again. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, man. There you go. Once this is all filled in, it's gonna look like actually awesome. I can tell. Maybe you don't believe me, but I believe me. I'm a believer. All right, cool. So now I can get back to learning with some more stuff. Commercial is on the rise. Uh, maybe we should just do this then. Expand this guy out. A, a bit. Yeah. Get it going. 
this road I'd like to lead. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to have it go over the water. That'd be cool. Get rid of some of these trees at some point. And then, uh, I think, actually, let's look at our traffic. It's probably really shitty. E yeah, this is kind of to be a bit expected, I guess. Hmm. See if I can get around that. Actually, I don't think it's going to help if I put another intersection here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. And I don't want to widen this because then it's going to demolish all these turkeys all over again. Ha. That's tough. But otherwise, I mean, traffic isn't like severely bad. Not yet. It'll get there. Trust me. Thanks, Obama. Uh, then let's... Should we connect these guys? Oh, that's shitty. I forgot to not zone that. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll just go like this then. Three. Yeah, we don't want too many intersections anyways. We'll extend these guys. What were you chirping about up there, Chirpy? You call me fat? Come on. Come on, man. Don't be like that. And we'll connect you guys all just with this. Nice. And fill you in with residential. And that commercial. So that commercial, it's creeping up on us. It's like, hey man, we want to shop. We want to shop. We have a right. We want to shop. And I'm going to put more residential on the other side here. How much money do I have? 24,000. Maybe I'll... Shit. I don't like... What do you... Like, what's going on here? Hmm. Oh yeah, because everybody, see they're all going to get to the industry. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and help the situation out. It's probably going to exacerbate it. Masturbate it. That's a lot of money, man. We're gonna make a lot of money, Eisenberg. There you go. We'll just see what that does. I mean, they're, it's, they're probably, again, this is all up to the AI, so they're probably gonna take the shortest distance. Which kinda sucks. But we can do policies at some point. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Um, increases decoration budget by 20%. Moderately increases land value around parks. Well, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm not going to do smoking ban or pet ban. Not yet, anyways. But, uh... We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Um, you can do heavy traffic bans in certain districts and areas. So, if I did that in, like, this area, this street... Then that would force the these guys more to use this road. Again. But one of the things I want to do. So this is only a temporary issue. Is I'm going to build another uh, interchange kind of area here. And then it's going to go directly to the in industrial. So I'm really hoping that helps. Another. Oh shit. Actually another option would be to have kind of a, a ramp that goes over here. And not up. You know, I don't want my industry using this at all. So I'm afraid that even if I do have an, uh, an interchange over here, down here, there's still guys that are coming from, you know, this direction 
from east to west are going to get off here first and then go through downtown. They're just going to be like, well, this is the first stop. They don't know that it's... So we'll see. I'll have to think about that. But anyways, let's look at this now. It's probably still... Doesn't... That doesn't seem too bad. Could be worse. We'll get worse if I still leave it like this, though. Let's go. Okay, and now our demand has gone down. You can't build fast enough, can you? Do I want residential on both sides of the street, though? That's for me to figure out. Do we have enough? What I do know, I want. Okay, we gotta extend this. Uh, you. Which one do I have? 17,000. Alright. No worries, might. Gotta do this. Somebody upgraded. Good job, buddy. Who is it? Was it you? Yeah! Upgrade underway. Look at that. It's upgrading before our eyes. Oh, I can't wait to see this sexy beast. I'm watching this. I know, we got new services. You shut your whore mouth. I'll tell you when we've got new services. Look at this nice house. There you go. It's got a nice tree. It's got a nice style. Oh, you upgraded too, didn't you? Yeah, boy. Trees. Or turning, I said that said trees, teens. Well, trees smoke trees, so. Yeah. Energy meters encourage citizens to conserve electricity, benefits, almost things, and energy, sustainability. Right on. Also. That reminds me, get on this before it gets on us. There we go. We're digging it. Oh, I'm going kind of crooked. Oh, that bothers me. Uh, can I actually reload? I okay, I can relocate these. So, I'll probably fix them later. I said I'll fix it later. This is looking kind of nice. Once I fill in these trees here, you know, put a cemetery or something there. I don't know what I can put in some of these spaces. Yeah, they are awkward. But that's kind of cool. I really like that. I like that idea. I like it. I like it a lot. When's our next upgrade? I think that'll be kind of maybe my quit time. 2400. We'll see. We'll see. I could play this forever. You know I could. I don't even know how long this is. Is this like an hour long? Hour and a half? Yikes. Um, did I zone or people aren't just just aren't building there? Okay. So I think what we can do is have a can do attitude. Let's go like so. Nice. Residential all day, every day. Should get rid of you because there's gonna be a street down there, I'm sure. Uh, you may go there. You know, let's just make it, I don't know if this makes it any easier. Yeah, it kind of makes it a little quicker. Far enough away from the pollution, I, I think. So we should be good there. And we can put some people here. There you go, you turkeys. And we'll probably put a bit of commercial along here somewhere. Um, but this, again, this is going to be a main commercial area. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it to it. Hopefully they're happy about this. Well, oh, there's so many shops. I don't know where to go shopping. Uh, it's so crazy. Ah, they're gonna want more industry soon too. Okay, we're on. Uh, we're over two thousand people. We still have some money. I guess we could pay back a bit of stuff. But you know what? Not like at the time. Let's uh, fast forward this a bit. Get a nice little outline going here. Oi. There 
There we go. Oh, people are upgrading. Oh, my. Look at all. Can you hear all these? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Um, yeah. Th those are good things. Those are people upgrading. They're like, I like this city. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, things are going well for me. Feeling prosperous. Pretty sure those are upgrades. Yeah, they are, man. Look at this. You're upgrading. We're all upgrading. Getting close to that 2400. Nice. We gotta finish these trees, though. Slow it down a bit. Okay. Just kind of pepper them in there. It doesn't have to be super, 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 super dense, but it's gonna be pretty dense. I like it dense. So I'm like it hot. Yeah. See what I'm talking about, though? With this stuff, these trees, they make it look so much nicer. People are going to be like, I want to drive into the city all day, every day. They're just going to drive in, drive out, drive in, drive out. And back their car in and out of the garage. Slowly and then faster. See, now I'll do those other two. But I'm going to stop annoying you right now. It cost me like 2,000 bucks. <gasps> Water. My bad. You good? Oh, you guys need water too. No, screw it. Let's just go like this. It had to be done. Oh, and you have to be done too. There. You're done. Has our power? It's getting down there. Ah, uh, we don't have enough for another turbine. We're going to upgrade in like two seconds, so. Then we will. Oh, yeah. So now we got transportation. Level three unique buildings. The buses, we can do the ore industry specialization. I love that. Recycling and recreational use. That's the marijuana. So let's see. Slightly increased tax income. Moderately increased tourism. Slightly reduced crime rate. Increases police budget by 15. I am fine with that. I don't want crime. And recycling, slightly reduced garbage accumulation, slightly reduced tax uh, income. It's fine. And, oh, God, highway ramp, highway, large roundabout, three-way intersection. Oh, yeah. Bus depot, advanced wind turbine. These are all good things, man. Cemetery, cool. Uh, first, let's do the policy. It's great news to see. Now, new annex adjacent areas. Yeah, baby. We're gonna do recycling. I mean, I'm allowing. I'm smoke weed all day, every day. Um, this is good. This is real good. Shit. Why don't we just do this and then get rid of this garbage for now? We'll get rid of all of it soon. We're going to connect these dots. But, um, going to be tackling transit in the next episode. That's going to take a little bit of thought and effort. Residential's going through the roof. Industry, we're going to keep expanding it out this way. I think that might be ore or something. Actually, if we just, can I just buy this now? How much is this going to cost? 5000 You know, we got forty. We do have to pay back loans, but screw it. Pay them back when we're dead. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Now what I can do is natural resources. Okay. So, yeah, the blue is ore. Okay, so that's a little bit ore. This uh, under these, if we can do some forestry stuff here. Uh, we got a lot of oil down south here if we purchase this land, which I do because I want to have this connection here to the highway. Wow, so there's definitely a lot of ore here. So I'll probably do a little bit of ore stuff here as well. And then we've got all this uh, fertile land. So I'm kind of building on top of it with my city, which is a bit unfortunate. But I don't plan to do much agriculture myself in this city. I'm going to focus more on the, the ore and the oil and forestry for sure. We're going we're gonna to work on that. So that's cool. i got to figure out what I'm going to specialize in though. Um, but it's nice to know we got that. Let's check our pollution. Obviously there and down here a little bit in the river 
And noise pollution. Naturally. Wow, these guys, these wind turbines, so loud. And. It's a crime. Uh, we need to put police maybe around here. They're not. Or increase their budget or something so there's more cars. What's traffic doing? Traffic getting shitty here. It's, it's always been shitty there, but it's getting shittier there. See, they're all turning left. Only a couple are using this road. Kind of bothers me. This is a narrow road, right? Like, it's not meant for a lot of traffic. And I don't want it to be. So I will do a district. I'm going to handle districts probably in the next episode as well. Transit and zit and district and district and district districts. We're going to get on that. The big things and adding industry. Oh, yeah, we're gonna just expand the industry all out here. We've got the train there, we've got the river. This is this is coming along, it's coming along. We're also gonna fill this in with trees and shit. But uh, shit, shit. Uh, anyways, I'm fat. We'll do one more while we're here and while I remember it. I sh oh shit, actually I didn't even think I, We can do advanced uh, wind turbines So now out of city limit. Oh, this is going to be That's what I'm going to use this for Because if you look in the water The darker the water, the more wind there is, right? So if we come I guess over here 13 megawatts, like right? 10, 11 By here, this is going to be nothing but Freaking turbines That's going to be cool, I like that Industry river indeed. Does somebody know how much the energy meter comes? Oh, shut up. Anyways, that is definitely, most definitely going to do it for this episode of Foxman Plays Cities Skylines. I sincerely, genuinely hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really excited. Again, the city right now is not amazing. It's not bustling, but I like to go slow. I like to make sure we're prepared. Uh, some some people, you might have the tendency to not kind of sit back and see how things are going. You want to see progress, 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 but sometimes that bites you in the butt later. Um, so I'm trying to take a little more time. So I thank you for your patience with me. And I just, yeah, I hope you yourself, if you have this game, you're enjoying it and learning stuff. If you don't have it and you just want to watch, hey, that's cool too. And the comment section. Please, if you have any sort of feedback, let me know. Again, understand and realize that I do know more about the game at this point. I just haven't gotten to explain it all. I like to explain it as we go. So don't think I there's just because I didn't talk about something, I don't know about it. You can still mention it. Just don't be like, hey, you're a dummy for not knowing this. I, I probably do, to be honest. But uh, Or if you, hey, you've, you're like, how do I do this? How do I do that? You can always ask in the comments. I'm there to help and other people are there to help. So, so well, if you like the video, it, it would mean a, a great deal to me if you if you uh, give it that old thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments what you don't like about it so I, at least I can try to do something to, you know, to better it for next time. That's all I'm all about, feedback and constructive cr criticism. You're, you're, you're okay to dislike stuff? There's nobody, no rules saying you have to like things, but I think it's it's good if you say why you dislike it, and then people are like, all right, well, I'm going to try and not to do something that you dislike from now on. You know what I'm saying? You don't like it when somebody shoots you, you should probably say, dude, I don't, I don't like it when you shoot me. And then they're going to be like, you know what? You, yeah, I could, okay, I get it. I'm not going to shoot you anymore. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough rambling from me. I'm looking at my city. I'm looking at a little spider thingy going on here. It is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode of Foxman Plays City Skyline. Uh, until then, peace out.